What's up, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Raudeza Reviews. I'm Raudeza, and I'm not going to spend so much time saying that I'm sorry for not doing reviews. It's a new year, and I completely got lost in Elden Ring. So I put, like, maybe 200 hours into that game, and, you know, you know how it is, guys, as a gamer. But I beat the damn game, something that cupcakes can't do. Anyways, now that I beat the game, I freed up some time a little bit, and I'm going to continue with the reviews. Some old stuff, some new stuff, and some stuff that... I had backlog. You know how the drill is, guys. Anyways, look, I'm not gonna make any excuses for this movie. I mean, Wonder Woman 1984 was... I, I, I genuinely don't know. I don't know if they were trying to make it more like the Donner films from the old Christopher Reeve movies. I don't know. I don't know what they were I don't know what the target audience was for. Whatever. It was a horrible movie, plagued with continuity issues, the writing... Kristen Wiig was really the only good thing. But... I did like the fact that we finally got to see the golden armor for Wonder Woman, so today we're going to be reviewing Hot Toys version of the golden armor Wonder Woman, the deluxe version, the 1-6 scale figure. Let's take a closer look. You know, this figure reminds me a lot of the Wolverine's origin figure. Horrible movie, but amazing figure and just the design. Now the head sculpt here is really well done. This is probably the best portrait of Gal Gadot. Now here's the funny thing, for some reason I see... Maggie Gyllenhaal in here. I don't know why, but certain angles make her look that way. You guys know that I'm not a fan of like the fabric hair, but here it's actually done very well. Very Pantene-esque, very shiny. Uh, the reason that I don't like the um, the actual hair and I like the more sculpted is because over time it starts to get matted and it, 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 the humidity, it really messes up the hair. But the head sculpt is done super well here. I like the way it came out. Now, where this figure really shines, literally, is definitely in the armor. Now, it's a shame that this is not metallic, it's not like a metal die-cast version, but I'm glad it isn't because that would have raised the cost of this figure, and it's already very expensive. Now, the plastic does, and the paint job does, rather, make a great effect, and it does look like actual metal. It's very reflective, super nice armor set, really, really complements the figure, and it's just really cool to look at, guys. Really amazing design overall, and the whole thing is just a focal point, which I really like, guys. This is really going to look nice on a display. Again, I really like this aspect of the figure. Now, the lower section of this piece is equally impressive, and I think this is probably my favorite aspect. Because if you look, the armor set on the legs are really well done, guys. They're really modular, and they're separated, so you can see the underlining of the kind of like mesh or the chainmail that's underneath the actual armor itself. Really cool boots, guys. And I have to say, because of the design and the way that they did it, it is pretty malleable, so you can get some pretty epic stances, which is really cool. I, when I initially looked at it, didn't think that you were going to be able to be so pliable with the boots, but they're actually pretty movable and pretty malleable, so it's really cool, guys. Now, because of the fact that she has wings, you definitely want to mirror this piece because there's a lot of detail on the reverse side. You get a better idea of how the hair flows, but most importantly are those wings. Now, I'm going to choose to display it in the retracted version because I think it looks really awesome. Also, I'll explain why. I don't want to display it like fully spread open like in flight. I'll explain. Now you also get a better sense of how she attaches to the base. It has that pull that's movable and it also has the waist grabber so that if you want to display her in flight and we'll talk about that in a moment. Now this is really nice guys so definitely mirror it. Now the base is actually pretty interesting and it's something that usually comes with the deluxe versions of figures. It's a flat slab base. It has a wonderful lithograph with the Wonder Woman logo. It does read on the lip of the base, Wonder Woman. And it has that kind of, I don't know, gimmicky, I've always called it that, with the lights that like kind of shoot up. Of course, they require batteries. But again, with these deluxe figures, they're never sufficient, or the light is never sufficient, that it actually makes a difference. So I never even bother with them. But whatever, you have them there. They're there, guys. Now, strangely, and this was a weird design choice, this figure doesn't come with an alternate head sculpt for the armor set rather it comes with the accessories to make the alternate head sculpt which is kind of a pain in the ass because you've got to put this kind of mesh thing within the actual helmet and then put that on the actual figure it gets really messy and every time I tried it I felt like I was gonna break it because this again this is plastic it's not actual metal weird choice but whatever they did it and you do have the alternate head sculpt just be very careful when you're building it guys now, for as expensive as this figure is, it's very light on accessories and really only has two of them, which is the lasso and this other smaller lasso thing. 
To be honest with you, I'm not exactly sure what that smaller thing was. I think it's something that just hooks on the belt for effect. And then you have the one that you can extend because it is kind of pliable, so to speak. But that's essentially all it comes with, guys. And again, this is a very expensive figure. And I'll explain exactly where I think most of the cost of this figure actually went. And here it is, guys. The minute that I opened the box, this scared the piss out of me. These wings are so goddamn big that I couldn't even believe it. I thought I was getting punked. I'm like, Jesus, these are how big these things are. Now, they do have an ingenious way to actually plug it into the figure. I think that's really cool. And if you notice, I only have one of them in the frame because I couldn't fit the other one. I mean, they're so massive, and this is why I won't be displaying it with the wings open. Now, if you have the room for it, definitely, I'm sure it looks really cool, but I'm a little bit more subtle with the figure, so I'm gonna do the retracted kind of thing. And finally, rounding out the last bit of accessories are four additional hands for various poses. Um, you can get some pretty dynamic poses, but mostly when you're in flight because of the way that the kind of figure is designed. It is pretty stiff though, just be very careful because there is kind of like a plasticky, rubbery suit underneath. It's not actual mesh. But still, you can get some nice dynamic poses. And the only thing you're really going to be using these for is kind of like the lasso. So it's a little limited, guys. But nevertheless, it's what we get. So look, guys, in my final analysis, I have to say that this figure is still readily available. And I am going to categorize it as an underappreciated holy grail piece. It was a shit movie, but this is an awesome figure. And the first time we really see the golden armor set on film so definitely pick this one up i highly recommend it it looks amazing and even though i generally don't like to display it in flight it still is really awesome once you put it in flight I just you know whatever i didn't want to bother with it because it was so big but honestly guys this is a really great piece and i highly recommend it again horrible movie amazing piece Go figure. Now before I go, I just want to send a shout out to the wonderful people over at Sideshow Collectibles for sending this wonderful piece over for review. Alright everybody, so that's my official review on the Hot Toys version of the Golden Armor Wonder Woman, the deluxe version, the one six scale figure. As always, I thank you for tuning in and I'll see you on the next Rao Desert Reviews.